Even when I was really young, I was always really concerned about climate change. And then when I got into high school, I really enjoyed my chemistry and physics courses, and I wanted to find a way to combine both of those disciplines. I heard about the field of atmospheric chemistry, I'm like, that sounds perfect, and combined both. Sarah reached out to me when I was applying to PhD programs about uh, the cloud water chemistry stuff here at Whiteface, and I just knew that's absolutely perfect for what I'm interested in. I'm super lucky to have found a really good leader, you know, for the group to show with the, the other students how to do research and how to persevere through challenges and he's got the good attitude, he's very optimistic and he works hard and so that's really valuable for building my group. When uh, we're in a cloud at the summit up here, we can actually study what clouds are doing to the chemical composition of the under flying aerosol. One of the biggest uncertainties uh, with future estimates of warming or cooling and climate change is how uh, aerosols interact with sunlight. They can uh, reflect sunlight, which leads to a cooling effect, but they can also absorb sunlight and actually warm the atmosphere depending on the color of the aerosol. When you look at a cloud, what you're seeing are cloud droplets. That's what's reflecting back to your eye. And every cloud droplet that's in there formed on an aerosol particle. So there's an intimate connection between aerosols and clouds, so that you can't really study one without the other. And it really teaches you to think on your feet. I've had a blast up here. You're either in cloud collecting data or you have a great view. It's been kind of nothing but a pleasure uh, working up here. It's been fun to like branch out and learn new things. So like a lot of the instruments that we're working with are brand new to me also. Don't be afraid to try new things you may not be an expert in. That's the best way to learn and how the best scientists are, e even if they don't think it's necessarily their field. If you delve into something, it can make you a really good scientist that has very unique perspectives.